Okay, so the first step in setting up your house church is to decide where you want your altar. And so when I moved into this house, that was one of the first things I needed to do. And so I walked the house, and so walk your home, walk your home with your family, and decide whether you want your altar, your sacred space, your church house, to be in the center of everything. And so if that's the case, then you would want it perhaps at a dining room table, or a coffee table, or a corner of your living space, a corner of your living room, or if you want it set apart from your living space. And so that if you want it set apart from your living space, this, that's where I have mine. Is Mine is upstairs, this is my bonus room. Uh, and so when I come up here, I come up here specifically for prayer, for my quiet time, for my quiet study. And so for me, in this house, it is set aside. In all my other houses, many of you know that I've preached that my very first uh, house church, my altar was in my closet. And so the kids knew that if I was in the closet, that I was praying, and so they would leave me alone. And so it all depends on your family origin and how your family wants. This is a family process. This is a family project we're going to go through. So once you have figured out the space, then what you want to do is you want to find um, something that will serve as a table. And so for me, this has always been my altar. And this is a hope chest that was back from my great great aunt that we found in the attic when my grandparents died. We found this in the attic. And so this was gifted to me as a family heirloom. And so this piece of furniture, this chest, has always served as my altar. It just has traveled from Georgia to Tennessee, to back to Georgia, to North Carolina, back to Georgia, and now it sits in South Carolina. So I'm going to leave you for a few seconds um, for you to go ahead and do that. It may take you, you may not already know where you want to put it. You may already have a place that you normally say your prayers. Or this may be a family conversation that may take hours or a day to, to resolve. So you take your time. And when you're ready for the next step, you just clue into the next video.